Joanne School, Grade 8 Math, number 8.4c, Elimination Method, Word Problem. So we said before, in some linear systems, neither variable can be eliminated by adding or subtracting. So we multiply one or both equations by a constant, so adding or subtracting will eliminate a variable. And we can multiply each equation by a different amount if we wanted to, to create a zero pair to eliminate a variable. And coefficients that are multiples of each other are the best to eliminate first. So if we had a 2x and a 4x, it would be best to eliminate the x first because we could just multiply it by 2, see? Or a 3x and a 6x, multiply that 3x by 2. Or 4y and 8y, or 5y and 10y, see? Every term in the equation is multiplied by the constant to raise the entire equation by that amount. That way the entire equation is equivalent. So, as we said before, these are variable terms because they have variables in them. They're separated by an operation sign. So we have two variables, terms. We have a constant term that doesn't have a variable, so that number is not going to change, okay? And the coefficients are the numbers that are in front of the variables, all right? Emma's family went to a concert and then to the planetarium. The concert tickets were $24.75 for the adults and $16 for the children for a total of $138.25. The planetarium tickets were $8.25 for the adults and $4.50 for the children for a total of $42.75. So how many adults and children are in Emma's family? So think, what do we need to find? Well, we need to find the number of adults and children in her family. So. What are our equations? We're going to let A equal adults. Doesn't that make sense? And we're going to let the C equal the children. See? So we've got $24.75 A plus $16 C equals $138.25. Then we've got $8.25 A plus 4.5, because it's really $4.50 C, equals $42.75. So all we did was take the numbers out of the problem and put an A or a C after them, and we knew the totals were the equals, right? We don't need to write the dollar signs to figure this out. I didn't even need to write the zero there if I didn't want to, okay? So the first thing we've got to do is figure out a power of 10 to multiply the equation by to get rid of these decimals and it'll make our life easier. So we're going to multiply both equations by 100. That would be 10 to the second power to get rid of the decimals. Now, is 10 to the second power enough? Well, this needs only to be multiplied by 10 to m remove this decimal. But all the other ones have two decimal places, don't they? So we need to go with the greatest amount of decimal places. So it looks like we're going to have to do 10 to the second power or 100. So we multiply each term by 100 to raise them all to equivalent equations. So we remove these decimal points and they move back behind the numbers, see? And then this 4.5 or $4.50 becomes 450. So now we've got 2,475 plus 1,600 equals 13,825. And our second equation is 825A plus 450C equals 4,275. Now, we need to multiply one of the equations so that we can get a zero pair and eliminate one of the variables. So the first thing I see is I know 8 times 3 is 24, and I know 25 times 3 is 75. So if I multiply 825 by 3, that's going to be 2475, see? And I do. And all the other ones have to come along. 450 times 3 is 1350 C, and 4275 times 3 is 12825. I did a little multiplication on the side to make sure, see? So now these are my new equations, and I stack both equations neatly and line up the variable terms and the equal sign and the totals. We subtract the new equation from the first equation, okay? Now remember, when you're subtracting integers, you add the opposite, all right? But in this case, we don't have to worry about it because there's no negative signs in here, so we're just going to subtract, all right? So 
2,475A minus 2,475A is going to give us a 0A. So now this has been eliminated. 1,600C minus 1,350C is 250C. See? 50 from 100 is 50, and that's going to make that a 5, so we've got a 2 that drops down. And we can see that's a 0, that's a 0, that's a 0, and then 13 take away 12 is 1. See? We can actually subtract these by combining the place values and see 13 take away 12 is 1, couldn't we? So now we've got 250C equals 1,000, and we can divide both sides by the 250. That'll give us our friend the invisible 1. We've got 1C, and 1,000 divided by 250 is 4. Now we can plug this 4 in as the C in an original equation to solve for A. So we had 825A plus 450C. Well, that's going to become a 4, and 450 times 4 is 1,800. So our new equation is 825A plus 1,800 equals 4,275. Now we can use the properties of equality, those inverse operations, to isolate the A. So we subtract 1,800 from both sides because that's a positive 18. We subtract 1,800, okay? That's going to create a zero pair here, right? And when we subtract 1,800 from 4,275, we get 2,475. Well, remember, we knew that 2,475 was just 825 times 3. So we can use that information, or do a little multiplication on the side, to see that this creates our friend the invisible 1, and that is going to make A equal 3. See? So we know that C is 4 and A is 3, so there's 3 adults and 4 children in Emma's family. Now, if something happened when you were doing this and you got a negative amount, well, it would be wrong because you can't have negative family members. You can't have uh, negative three adults and positive four children. That wouldn't make sense, okay? So it ha both have to be positive numbers, and then you know you did it correctly also, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? So don't forget, you have to multiply by a power of 10 to get rid of decimals to make your life easier, and... You can use variables that match the word problem like A for adults or C for children. And then it's easy to remember what they stood for instead of just X and Y. See? Okay, we're going to move on to our next video. And that is going to be using a table for the elimination method. Okay? I hope this was helpful. Keep trying. We're going to get through this. And... We're going to do transformational geometry when we get to chapter 9, and we're almost there. I'll see you next video in 8.4D. Bye.